So apparently my video only goes about 10 minutes, but um, so what happened is we just took this out with the two screws. Um, okay, and so now this next part, um, uh, you if you don't have a spanner, uh, just I really don't think there's I I wouldn't suggest that you go ahead and do this next part. Um, basically, uh, there's an inner ring inside of here that holds down the um, plate that the um, aperture rotates on, and so you have to use the spanner to take that out. Now the problem is is that they've glued it in and it is extremely difficult to get out so make sure you're pressing down hard when you're rotating this out. It's not fun. Um, anyways I'm just gonna go over here because I have to push down hard. Yeah I, I don't... I, I get why they glue it and I'm probably gonna glue it back in when I'm done, but um, but it's just it's so it makes it so difficult. I don't know what they do to take this out easier. Maybe they have I don't know. I don't know if they're just using regular spanners like this or what. So it came out nicely. Um, now, um, you might want to wipe some of that residue out of there. There is some glue residue. And... Okay, so now, uh, hey, we're ready to take it out. So here we go. You just lift the uh, ring out of there inside. So easily. <laughs> Oh, come on. I have to tap it out. Oh, I don't want to do that. Here we go. Oh, come on. Just keep slipping back down. There we go. Alright. So you see the blades are, they look fairly dry. So maybe it's on here. Oh yeah, oh shoot. Okay, so you can see the oil along here. So it's not actually, okay, well, um, my oil is just starting to seep in, um, so it's coming along, it's coming in through that hole where we took this off of, um, this lever. It's coming in through that hole, but it hasn't actually reached my blades. I can see it, it's all inside of there, and it's on here, so I have to wipe that down. So we're just using 70% alcohol. I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm just actually gonna swab the entire thing, and I'm gonna do the inner rim of there. Um, maybe I'll stop the video and come back. All right. Um, okay. So uh, I've gone ahead and I've wiped all it out in there. You can see it's pretty black. So there's quite a bit in there. And I thought it was interesting. I thought I'd just show you this. Um, I wiped this down, but the uh, grease is actually starting to solidify. That's the problem. Let me see. Am I in the camera here? Yeah. So what's happening is that the grease, grease what happens is it gets really runny when it breaks down or it turns to plastic basically. It solidifies. Um, so what's happened here where it has been on here, I've been wiping it down and it's not coming off, but I'm actually scratching it off. So it's, it's already turning to that plasticky um, residue. I'm just peeling it off in coats. I don't know if you can really see that. It's kind of clearish, but... Um, and I, I've scraped it in there, but it's... Um, here's some more. So you might want to look for that. Okay, 
And um, I think that's basically it. I've wiped down everything else. Um, now, my blades are fine. There's not a drop of oil on them, but um, <clears throat> just so you guys know, when you put them in, you're going to you're gonna um, stack them. Uh, so you put the first one down, and then you put them clockwise on top of each other. And I've got other videos. I'm not gonna pull my blades out because I don't really want to muck about with. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But um, so then the last one, you're gonna slip it under the first one. So it's a blade like this and then you're gonna slip it under this one and on and obviously on top of the, the one you're coming from um, and uh, it, I have other videos that you can see how that's done with other lenses but I'm not gonna do it for this lens because I just don't want to mess it about and then wreck something or just touch my elements <laughs> um, the other thing is um, I'll show you I'll put this okay, so we're gonna put this plate back in so you have all the little holes and then this square or the longer the bigger hole here um, you're gonna put that on there's a little silver tab a little silver guy in there and that's gonna go into there and it's pretty easy you just oh one other thing let me show you oh, it's too late okay but basically all the blades were come together I what I do is I use something and just move them without touching the element and just move them so that they're just open at the opening and they're all even that way and then you just wiggle this back and forth while pressing down and they should all pop in there she goes um okay now we're gonna put this ring back in and push everything down. It's going in nicely. And so um, we're just going to tighten it down and then you tighten it all the way down and then just loosen it off a little bit. Okay, so I'm at the bottom. Now I'm just gonna bring it back up a little bit. Okay. Looks good. Just gonna make sure everything's moving nicely. Good. Um, now we're gonna put this back together. Um, yeah, yeah. So I just slip that in there. And then I hold it with my two fingers. And we'll put our screws back in. Two little shiny metal guys, at least for mine. And this can be tightened down. All right, boom. Um, now we know that uh, everything is working properly, so I'm just gonna glue that ring back in. Um, because the the that ring, as we know, will keep going. Either it'll uh, rotate its way out, or it'll tighten on the aperture again and just stop it from moving. So I'm just going to take a little tiny bit of AC glue. I'm actually going to put it on a screwdriver so I can be a little more accurate. I'm not going to put very much on, not like they did. <laughs> I'm just going to put a touch on just to hold it in place a tiny bit.
You see the dust back. <laughs> okay, uh, we're ready to throw this all together now. Um, now, uh, we focused, sorry, I, f I focused um, down a bit uh, so it'd be close focus so I could get this out. So we gotta bring this back. We gotta bring this back. Um, sorry, we gotta. I brought it to infinity. We gotta bring it back a little bit, um, just so the mount will go on. If you did that, I don't know. If it, it's just if this doesn't go on properly, it's because um, your focus might be out a little bit. All right, here we go. So okay, um, we are gonna this this lever will go into this slot right here, and it. it you know, you're gonna put it down and then rotate it to line up the screws, but it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you probably, there's no way you're gonna see that, so.